The CoinSuris channel is pleased to have you back. Who are you with? Your vote enter in the option community. Optoin AXRP. Option B REPL. Option C SEC. Does the possibility exist that all the speculation over Bitcoin ETFs will prove to be fruitless? That is not going to happen, as I have already said quite clearly. A lot of people are talking seriously about this and what it means, and there are many opinions on why it might not happen, despite some scary headlines. Among the many notable people who have offered speculation on this matter are James Seifert and another major figure. The identities of these two individuals are probably well known to everybody who has been following Eric Hakuna's narrative. As a Bloomberg Airco employee, Kunis and his partner may be appearing on my feed more frequently. He is a senior ETF analyst for Bloomberg. Thanks to his contacts, he has been keeping the public apprised of the latest developments and rumors. Remember that these are journalistic rumors, not the type of gossip you'd see on Twitter, they come from sources with inside knowledge. Regarding the SEC's position on Bitcoin ETFs and the concerns of those who are worried about a Ginza red poll, James Seifert has published a quick remark. The SEC could reject Bitcoin ETFs if they ask for more time, according to comparable stories in Forbes, the rug poll of the decade, Cointelegraph, and Spot, thus I think this is justified. The value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Solana has plummeted as a result of this. Could this be the most revolutionary Red Bull of all time? In the event that the Spot Bitcoin ETF is rejected, I foresee a sharp drop in price in the near future, even if I don't think it's likely. No idea how low it could fall, I refuse to speculate. However, if a spot Bitcoin ETF is approved, I foresee a catastrophic and awful drop. Yes, but I promise that this time around, with the newfound optimism and forward momentum, things will be different. I still think prices will go down, even though I'd rather be incorrect than correct. Putting on a show by the SEC would be a new type of crash, guy. I must admit, I do not hold this in high regard, but I am open to discussing the matter, and I truly appreciate your viewpoint. I would have rather to engage in a discussion regarding it rather than merely reading it for that reason. Eric Boken is making an effort to clarify why this is highly unlikely to occur, even though it is theoretically possible. He mentioned that the SEC books have not cast their votes yet and hinted at the possibility of a second poll. Being that said, he does touch on the topic on occasion. Keep in mind that the SEC has never voted on whether to approve Bitcoin ETFs for futures trading or to reject them on the spot. As Commissioner Peirce highlighted in his address, these decisions were instead taken through delegated authority. This makes perfect sense, given that the 10th floor has been in charge of these projects since the grayscale. Sure, just wait a second. Those in charge at the SEC are the ones he's mentioning here. Hester, the commissioner and secretary of the purse, delivered the following speech. Even if I don't read it cover to cover, I will read the last installment of Mad Life. It appears like the final sentence is toward the end. Attention, Hester's purse. She was one of two commissioners out of five who voted against suing Ripple. Here is the statement she gave. Regardless of the fact that numerous of the initial Bitcoin ETDs were denied by the commission delegated staff. These rejections and other policy decisions are the fault of the commission, not the staff. Even though the commission isn't doing a good job of leading, the workforce is. Yes, I understand. Next, Eric Belkunis elaborates, saying, second, they would have to have publicly scheduled a meeting if they did vote. I will meet with you on the 11th. On the other hand, January 11th would be too soon for a launch. For that reason, probably irrelevant. If there was a vote on the subject, Gary would vote no, since there isn't enough evidence. More than that, I have to stop where I am. Very charming. Eriko Kunis, it's not going to happen since it defies logic and I am a fan. If you know when that will stop Kim Jong-un in his tracks, please let me know. He felt compelled to do it after flipping. Logic and reason. Where are you at? So, I say it casually. To be fair, even a monstrous figure like Kim Jong Genza has his limitations, I suppose. Whatever the case may be, Eric Belkin maintains his momentum and asserts B. 
They were most recently informed that they would need these prepared for the launch on January 11, and he personally asked the staff to devote countless man-hours to collaborate with 11 issuers on 5 to 10 rounds of comments. Just a moment, please. That is the word that comes from credible sources. This is really happening. Reliable sources have reported that, even though the announcement has not been made formally, after all, Gary Gensler was the one who told us to go to this office, so I can see why his second claim would be stronger. As he points out in this section, it also resulted in thousands of man-hours. I don't see the point because the SEC dweebs still don't know what they're aiming for. What would be the point of pretending to do so, instead of actually proving it? It wouldn't get them any fame or anything. What would be the point of that? For the simple reason that they will be subject to unwinnable lawsuits unless they give their blessing to this. Nothing has changed, regardless of how much we argue. Simply said, we shouldn't say no. Maybe there are some hiding out there. Oh, I see. Perhaps there's something I'm missing. When the Grayscale lawsuit was successfully defended, there were claims that they were being arbitrary and capricious or capricious, so it's hard for me to believe that they would genuinely believe that putting in thousands of hours of work knowing in advance that they would deny this stuff would benefit them. It is my intention to convey that message, that would be the most unprecedented event in the history of cryptocurrency, even by SEC standards. This is happening right now, and if it doesn't pass muster, it will be the most ridiculous event in the history of cryptocurrency. That being said, I must admit that I lack absolute certainty in the matter. From what I can tell, there have been similar items that have received approval in areas other than the rest of the world. Here in the world's leading economy, the United States, you're bringing up this product. Its great significance stems from this. Regardless of your feelings about it, Bitcoin follows the stock market. We are talking about, though not exclusively about, economic events in the United States. Additionally, I understand that stock prices do not necessarily represent the health of the economy, or that economic activity closely follows stock prices. Remember that the two are related, that is the most critical thing. For example, in the event of an abrupt economic collapse, the stock market would not exist. That follows as an obvious conclusion. But all I'm saying is this. Oh, here we go, is his final remark. However, until the SEC makes an official announcement, we will not switch to 100% odds. Similarly, ESPN will not switch to 100% winning chance until the game ends, regardless of the score. I am sorry, this tweet is so lengthy. It I couldn't agree with you more. No problem with that. I think we can all agree that this item is securely sealed. Also, consider this, the SEC is fooling everyone at all these corporations, including BlackRock, if they are acting theatrically. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I also found this quite interesting. The brains behind Points Vale's strategic advisor, Tether and Gamer Gearbox, Vanek, delivered this to you. So, I won't read what's on your screen out loud. Given that you probably won't be able to watch it on your iPhone while glued to the TV, to help you out, I made a full screen case. No, having said that, he did reveal the following here. This concept exemplifies the kind of influence this will have, therefore I felt forced to highlight it. Everyone who thinks the spot Bitcoin ETF is a fraud at the retail level is totally incorrect. It is with you that I respectfully disagree. The news is going to spread like wildfire, I realize it. Furthermore, I share your sentiment. But when I think about the big picture, I can't see how this could not be the most important thing. Given the large sums of money that will be invested over extended periods of time, this poses a serious concern, unless you think that all of these companies, including BlackRock, would produce unsuccessful goods. To assist you grasp the gravity of the situation, Gaber offered the following argument, supported by facts. On top of that, it will show how innovative you are in the Bitcoin industry, you're truly ahead of the curve. Despite the passage of nearly 15 years, you are only at the beginning. Therefore, we compiled this whether Bitcoin ETFs acquire $500 million or $5 billion in initial contributions is rather insignificant in the scope of things.
Incredible, I've been rambling on about this exact topic for weeks, if not months, at this point. Yes. Properly balanced. How is it that out of all the assets in the world, worth an estimated $500 trillion, a portion of that value may be transformed into Bitcoin, both in real and digital form? Tell us what's important. The potential for future appreciation, increased investment, and the accompanying credit facilities would bring in $2.5 trillion if a 5% global allocation were to be assumed. This is why large corporations do show some concern from time to time, I couldn't agree with you more. However, the essential idea is unchanged. 5% globally. Allocation of assets. The real distribution, what is it? I wouldn't be surprised if it was significantly higher. Quite much. Even though I might be totally mistaken, I'd be prepared to wager 0.5% on the emergence of this crypto monster in the next few decades. Based on my speculation, a lot more money will flow, so I will continue to operate as though you are considerably ahead of the curve. Everything that happens here will be watched. Meanwhile, I am filled with optimism, please, just give me good news. If the news event is a sell the news story, I will not allow myself to have a panic attack. Additionally, it's possible that I'm incorrect and it isn't. I am incorrect in certain ways. My only move is to assume, as is everyone else's. Great. I will be relieved that my prediction was incorrect, because my net worth will keep going up. What follows is anybody's guess. Just to clarify, I do not have the title of financial planner. In no way, should anything I say sway your choice to buy or sell. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, goodbye for now.